what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today I have another NSB setup video for you guys this setup video is for the Jordan 4 University Blues coming out tomorrow so yeah let's get started when you open up NSB this will be the page that pops up so let's just go to create task so I'm gonna be going over foot sites and Shopify today last time I only did foot sites but if you didn't watch the video and you don't know foot sites it's only four websites it's Foot Locker Champ Sports, East Bay, and Foot Action. So that's what I'm going to do first. So, for example, I'm going to do Foot Locker. Now, the steps I'm about to do for Foot Locker is exactly the same for Champs, East Bay, and Foot Action. So, yeah, just do exactly what I do for all four websites. So, for this, always have it on smooth. Just don't even, don't ever use the mobile. Just ignore it. So, just do smooth. Now, for SKU number, if you're new to this, you probably don't even know what that is. And usually it's in the NSB Discord, but if they haven't posted it yet, or you're just not in it for some reason, this is how you find it. So just go, so I'm doing Foot Locker. Go to the Foot Locker website. Go to the shoe that you're gonna bought. So like I said, I'm doing the Jordan 4 UNCs. So go to the releases. And it's right here, I'm doing men's. <coughs> So the way you find it is down here, product number, you'll just copy that in. That's the SKU number or the code or whatever. So just copy that in. And that'll, that code will help the bot pick up that shoe. So yeah. For size, for example, for this, I don't want like a size 16, 17, and 18. So what I would I would usually go for is 7.5 through 15. So this is how you would do it. You type in the number, put a comma, and then put in the next number. Don't put any spaces, just the number, comma, and then a number again. So this is how you would do it. And then I would just keep going all the way to 15. So don't do it like this. Put the number, comma, space. Don't do it like that. Just put the number, comma, and uh, what I would do is do it all the way until about size I would usually do size 14 but since this is a really hyped shoe I like to do it a little higher but 16 17 18 in my opinion is kind of overdoing it but some people like that size so you could go for it if you want but yeah that's how I would do it billing profile just do any billing you want um, proxies <clears throat> I personally don't have one that I would recommend just because I don't have any I consistently hit with but for now if you're wondering I use oculus DC Leaf Residential and Stealth Residential. So I'll just do an example. Oculus. Advanced. I like to leave it alone. Some people like to put a lower number. But if you put it too low, you could get that IP band easily. So I don't really like messing with it. I just leave it alone. But that's up to you. If you're wondering, I heard uh, a lot of people like to do it like 3333 for both. Some people like to do like 3000. So that's really up to you honestly but yeah I like to just I don't even check it I just leave it alone schedule task I'm in I'm on the west coast so our drops are at 7 a.m. they always tell us to start the task for foot sites 10 minutes before the, 5 to 10 minutes before the drop I always do it 10 minutes so I would put it to 650 so I'll catch it. you don't even need to check that just, just ignore that and that's how you set up the task for foot locker for example, for the size though, if you don't care what size and you just want a random size, just literally leave it blank. When I leave it blank, watch, you'll put RA for random. So you don't you don't even have to type anything if you don't care, just leave it blank. So that those steps I just did for Foot Locker, you'll do exactly the same for Champs, East Bay, and Foot Action. I'm not going to show you all four just because, like I said, it's the same. I'll, ju I'll just do one more other foot site though, just so you guys can know. I'll do Foot Action. So, like I said, you would go to the website. <clears throat> I'm buying the Jordan 4 men's and grade school, but I'm just showing the men's for now. So, sometimes the product number or the SKU number for like Foot Locker and Foot Action might be different. Um, I don't know if it's different this time. Uh, it's not. It's not, but. 
sometimes it could be so just check all four websites just in case so yeah like I said the size we'll just pretend I'm, I only want to go for 10 to 12 this is how I would do it no spaces all, um, <clears throat> the mode is smooth billing choose whatever proxy you want schedule it <clears throat> five to ten minutes before so yeah that's how you that's basically how you do it and in case you don't know the men's grade school preschool toddler all the SKU numbers are different so if you want to do grade school make sure you go on it and get the code for that because it's like I said it's gonna be different so I'll just do it as an example Paste. so I want a random size for grade school I'll just leave it blank and there it is you can see the SKU number is different random size fed action and it's scheduled for tomorrow at 650 so yeah just do all those steps for the foot sites um, it's not a guarantee that you'll get the shoe or cop the shoe it's just basically how to pick up the product so that your bot could try to get it it mainly comes down to just all luck to be honest and sometimes the kind of proxies you have but like I said it all, all proxies work differently um, I haven't found one that I could hit with consistently yet so I'm still looking for a good one but yeah especially for this shoe you're gonna need a lot of luck but yeah now let's get into sh the Shopify sites um, if you don't know what Shopify Shopify sites are it's like DTLR, Jimmy Jazz, Shoe Palace, Shop Nice Kicks just websites like that so for example I'll do D DTLR just cuz that's a site I like to bought a lot so yeah that might this all might look confusing right now but it's it'll be pretty simple to watch so for the mode for Shopify I was told always to use cyborg 3.0 for the oh, <clears throat> for keywords for Shopify I like to do keywords I don't really like to do the link or variant but everyone's different this is just what I like to do so go to the website <clears throat> Now, if you're confused about this, they usually post like keywords in the um, in the NSB Discord. But like I said, if you're not in it for some reason or they haven't posted it yet, go to the shoe you want to bot. For the keywords, you have to be as specific as possible, or else <clears throat> the bot might pick up a different product. So, for example, if you just type in Jordan Four, the bot will literally try to get anything that has the name Jordan Four <clears throat> on the website. So yeah, you have to be as specific as possible. So I would put Jordan Retro 4 um, UNC because there's really not anything else that could be called that except for that shoe. So Jordan 4, Jordan for Retro 4 UNC. Um, <clears throat> let's say you want to go for men's, type in men's. Now if you don't want it to go for like grade school or preschool or toddler you could do something like minus grade that means this means it will make sure the product doesn't have the word grade in it so yeah if you don't want to go for grade school do that minus grade minus school you want to be super safe with this so it doesn't pick up the wrong product product so I would do minus grade minus school minus grade school minus GS minus preschool minus pre minus school and like I said just be as specific as possible because you don't want to pick up the wrong product so yeah you guys get it um, <clears throat> sizes exactly the same as foot sites you could leave it blank for random um, just as an example I'll do like 8 through 12 So yeah, no spaces, just the comma and the number. Um, Billing is the same. Proxies, um, I recommend doing no proxies or use a DC if you can. I like to do one with no proxy, one with DC. <clears throat> For Shopify sites, you would start it two minutes before the drop, not five or ten like foot sites. So. Like I said, my drops at 7 a.m., so I would schedule it for 6:58. Advanced, um, you could change it a bit because Shopify doesn't really block IPs like foot sites do. Like they could block it, but it's not as often like foot sites. So 
I like to do something like 3,000 <clears throat> for the advance. You can make it lower if you want, but it's really up to you. That's this is just what I like to do. And then require login, just ignore that. Unless you're doing a website that requires like a web an account, like Undefeated does, but DTLR doesn't require that. Force capture, um, you don't really need to do that because the capture is gonna pop up anyways. You could do it; it doesn't really matter in my opinion. I like to just not do it. So, yeah, that's how you would set it up for DTLR. And I'll do one more Shopify website just so you guys can get what I do. So I know a main one is Shoe Palace. A lot of people like to do. So let's go to Shoe Palace. Releases. <clears throat> then the Jordan Fours. Oh, this one's gonna be a little harder because it doesn't have the words UNC in this. So let's just say you type, you put into your bot Jordan Four shoes. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but um, I guess you could put in the style number actually. You could put that in for the keywords or the SKU number or variant. Wait. So I'll go to Shoe Palace, <clears throat> Cyborg 3.0 for Shop Shopify, so keywords, I guess you could put that in for variant, I've never actually done that before, I usually do keywords, but, um, so here's what I would do, I would do Jordan for Retro, <clears throat> um, wait, let me see. See, it would, it would pick up a lot of these, which I don't want, so, yeah, this one might be a little tough, or I guess this might count just because it's on the same page, so I'll just do that, University Blue, so put in Jordan 4 Retro, Jordan 4 Retro, University Blue, <clears throat> because I doubt any other, oh, I'll put Shoe too. So it doesn't pick up like a shirt or something. Shoe. Men's. Yeah, men's. Men's shoe. So now it's more specific. It won't pick up like a jacket or something since you put shoe in it. Jordan. I'm pretty sure there's no other shoe on the website that's a Jordan 4 University Blue. So. So yeah, that's a jacket. It won't pick it. It won't pick that up since you put shoe. But yeah. <clears throat> That's what I would do, just be as specific as possible, make it safer, so yeah, do that. Size, I already told you, I'll leave it blank for random. Proxies, so it's DTLR, I have it at no proxy right now, so for Shoe Palace, I would do DC. Start that two minutes early, Setting the timeout settings, that's what I like to use. Schedule tasks, 658, so yeah, that's how I would set it up for those websites. I'll do one more just because that, that Shoe Palace one was kind of weird. So I know a popular one is Shop Nice Kicks. Go to Launches, I believe. Coming soon. So yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, that, see, I like it when it does University Blue. That makes it more specific and easier to put it into your bot. So. We're gonna go to Shop Nice Kicks now. Cyborg 3.0. So keywords, I would do like Jordan 4 Retro University Blue. Um, let's say you want to go for men's and not gray school, put men's shoe. And just in case, do like minus grade, minus school. Just minus anything you don't want it to pick up. So yeah, that's what I would do. Um, size is seven and a half to thirteen. That's good with me. Like I said, I don't like to get too big sizes, like sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. But that's perfect. So I would just leave it random. Um, billing proxies, like I said, no proxy or DC. 
DTLR right now I have no proxy. I like to do just one with no proxy. So the rest I would probably do with DC. So I'm going to use Oculus. Start at 2 minutes before the drop. Advance 3000. <clears throat> so yeah, that's what I would do. That's basically it, honestly. Just f That's how you set it up for foot sites and some Shopify sites. So for the CAPTCHAs, you're going to need to be logged into an email. So how you, if this is empty and you don't know what to do, this is basically what you do. Just um, literally name it anything. Um, you don't have a proxy for this, just leave it blank. It's fine. <clears throat> original vanilla. I still don't know the difference. A lot of people just say pick any, so I just pick original. So once that pops up, click play. And then it'll pop up this screen. Log into your Gmail because if you're not logged into anything, like say I have nothing in here, the Shopify sites, you won't be able to bot it because you need to be logged into an email for that so that the CAPTCHA security question could pop up. It won't pop up at all if you're not logged into anything, so you won't be able to bot the website. So make sure you have at least one email in here. I have three. I just barely put these up right now. But yeah, this is the three emails I have. Just so, like, let's say I'm buying these three websites, I could have three, you know, capture screens at the same time. If you only have one, you'll just have one capture screen, and you'll just have to do it one by one, and that'll take a long time. So, yeah, if I have three, I could just have all of these, like, you know, not at the same time, but really quick. So yeah, just have that set up. And that's about it, guys. Um, this is how you set up your bot. NSB bot for the Jordan 4 UNC is coming out tomorrow. Um, literally, if you have any questions, feel free to DM me on my Instagram at jcresales559. I'll put that in the description. Or leave a comment. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll be doing more setup videos like this. Um, I'm planning on doing it for the Jordan 13s coming out this weekend. So... Stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys next time.